choosing the right motherboard have changed across the decade. Before, pagpipili ka ng motherboard, dapat ito yung piliin mo, yung may mas magandang heatsink, yung may mas magandang uh, uh, cooling system, or uh, mas beefy yung kanyang uh, power delivery. Then comes the uh, times na dapat meron siyang mga RGB features like this in terms of aesthetics. Then lately, medyo nag-iba ulit yung approach natin. Kasi nga, most of the brands, when we focus more on the VRM pagdating sa ating mga review, nag-upgrade na rin yung mga brands. Like we have here, the Asus ROG Maximus 13 Hero. Ang dami niyang faces, ang ganda ng kanyang cooling system, even yung kanyang I.O. shroud na dating plastic, ngayon very functional na siya kasi nga alloy na rin yung kanyang I.O. shroud. So it's now a very helpful material na kasama nung heatsink in terms of cooling solution. Now, sometimes we may also think na napakamahal ng motherboard na yan, hindi ko rin naman yan afford. So I think I'm not interested with this video. Pero mga kaibigan, this is a new video on how we will check a motherboard or how we will choose the right motherboard. And this is relevant across all models ng Asus. Nag-iba ang panahon. So ito ang bagong topic na kailangan mong malaman kung anong dapat na motherboard ang pipiliin mo this 2021 onwards like this feel free to subscribe this video is brought to you by scdkey the best website that you may visit in terms of a uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares games and yes operating system and there you are you may check the windows 10 pro and by using our promo code ma avail mo lang siya ng around 14 dollars and 95 cents or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. So as I have said earlier, medyo nag-iba na yung approach on how we will check the right motherboard or what are the things that we should consider in choosing our next purchase of motherboard. And dito nga po is Asus. First, of course, we will look at the box. Maganda yung kanyang packaging. And then as you can see with the item, napaka beefy na niya tingnan. Wala ba kayo napansin lately or recently sa trend ng uh, ASOS motherboards habang tumatagal or habang may bago, nadaragdagan ng kits, ornaments like this. Almost uh, all part na nung uh, ASOS uh, Maximus Hero is uh, covered na ng uh, alloy heatsink. And uh, I think that is uh, one of the signature of ASOS recently na napapansin ko lang pag uh, may bago. Like, if you will compare this uh, Maximus 13 with the previous motherboard that they have, uh, Maximus 8 or Maximus 9, ang layo na nung itsura. Napaka-beefy na tingnan ng mga bagong models ng Asus. Which is uh, really good. Dahil nga, functional. Pero, those are just part of the power delivery or cooling system that we often recheck in terms of motherboard review. And uh, I think dumating na rin sa point na halos na perfect na nila ang uh, pag-design ng power delivery that sometimes it's now even overkill. Like when we check this, ang dami niyang faces. And as we have more faces, then there is also a cooler power delivery dahil mas maraming magtutulungan na pyesa or components or partition ng motherboard to deliver the right amount or the stable amount of electrical supply sa mismong CPU. Since there are also other big deal features that we may or we should check or consider. And that what makes ASUS different from the competition. Maybe they have the best in terms of hardware, cooling, power delivery. Pero what makes ASUS different is they are one step ahead in terms of firmware. Asus have these AI features and the first thing is that AI overclocking. Pagkarinig mo palang nung overclocking, medyo, ha, ah, napaka-technical niyan. Hindi ko na yun gagalawin. If I will buy a motherboard, maybe I will just set it to XMP enable to uh, take advantage of the uh, memory 
and uh, leave everything as it is kasi meron naman ng mga Intel Turbo Boost technology or other default features na I think I can already maximize my computer system. Pero what if Asus give you the opportunity to safely overclock your processor and maximize the performance of your processor by just taking the AI overclocking feature. And to see the difference, we run benchmarks like uh, CPU rendering and makikita natin dyan na meron din namang advantage in terms of time frame. As well as in terms of gaming, makikita nyo rin that between default and AI overclock processor, magkakaroon din ng advantage especially if you will settle down with FPS or 1080p resolution. Pero hindi lang yon. Of course, sometimes when you think about overclocking, kasunod din nun yung cooling system. And sometimes medyo takot tayo na galawin yung mga fan curves or parang nandun yung perception na, naku po, magre-research na naman ako. Dapat aralin ko muna kung paano ba talaga nagbe-behave yung cooling na yan before ko galawin tong fan curve. Baka mamaya ito yung maging dahilan para masunog pa itong mga component ko. Asus also have this AI cooling feature that you can just enable. And there you have it. You can now maximize the performance of your processor. Pero hindi lang yun. With the motherboard that you have, you can also have the features that a very good router can do. Pero with AI networking, you can manage your ping, you can manage your latency, or you can have the best experience, especially with esports games like Dota 2, CSGO, na every second count. Makikita natin dito mga kaibigan that I did a simulation on how will this AI networking behave. We run the game first application, and then since ang gaming is uh, mostly interfered or magkaka problema kung merong uh, very tight uh, upload bandwidth or very high usage of upload sa other applications, ang ginawa natin is nag-upload tayo ng file while we are running the game. And with the AI networking technology, makikita natin that even nagraran tayo ng upload is still the ping is within or below 100 ms. Pero, when we disabled or exit game first, wala nang AI networking, bigla nang nag-jump or nag-spike yung ating ping. So look at that kind of advantage from 70 ms going up to 200 ms. That is a very big disadvantage or significant disadvantage, especially sa mga esports or competitive games. And then, hindi lang yan ang kayang gawin ng isang ASUS ROG motherboard. These also have the ASUS AI noise cancellation feature. Ibig sabihin, kahit mumurahing headset, wala siyang noise cancellation feature, just open the utility, set this headset microphone sa AI noise cancellation, automatically lahat ng papasok na input ng boses mo, kahit meron ka pang katabing electric fan, lahat yun marireduce. Asus have managed to data mine all kinds of noises in the background except voice of course. Lahat yun kaya nang i-detect ng Asus firmware, software, and gagawing malinis yung kakalabasan. That is why it's already two-way. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang yung boses mo ang mana noise cancel. Even the uh, background noise ng kausap mo napapasok sa'yo, lahat yun malilinisan. Though with this video, hindi ko masyadong may highlight mga kaibigan. We will have another topic or uh, another video na mas i-feature ko naman ang noise cancellation feature. Of course, meron kasabihan na to see is to believe. Kaya ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is ipaparinig ko sa inyo what will be the difference ng ating recording pag naka-enable yung noise cancellation feature and hindi naka-enable. Hello, mic test, mic test. Hello. Hello, mic test, mic test. Hello. Hello, mic test, mic test. Hello. Ayan, mayroong natipick up na ingay. And ayan. 
Wala tayong naririnig. Hello, mic test, mic test, hello. Hello, mic test, mic test, hello. Solid. Maganda yung kanyang uh, pickup. Pero a bit different na yung doses. Now, with that being said, time had changed in terms of choosing the next motherboard that you may avail. Ang masasabi ko lang, Asus is good. They are really one step ahead in terms of firmware. Pero they are also one step ahead in terms of price. Kadalasan po sa mga Asus motherboard are a bit uh, pricey compared sa counterpart. Like uh, 1K or 500 pesos. Pero, di ba, para saan namang sasayangin mo yung 1,000 or 500? Kung makakatipid ka naman, especially in terms of uh, headset, hindi mo kailangan kagad mag-invest sa mahal na headset. Maybe you can settle down muna sa mas mura dahil nga mas mahal ng motherboard yung napili mo. So automatically, medyo magigipit ka na sa mga iba pang budget. So pwede mong siguro uh, eto mo ng headset ang bibilhin ko. Since meron namang ng noise cancellation feature yung motherboard. Same with the routers. Instead na magsettle down ka sa isang microtic router or uh, router that got this uh, bandwidth management, and sometimes you may also think na baka medyo mahirap ding i-configure, then settle down ka na lang dito muna sa ganitong klase ng motherboard and at least kahit na medyo hindi ganun kaganda ang latency or plan ng PLDT mo or uh, kung ano mga network or internet service provider yan, you have the peace of mind that you will have a very great experience with a game first or AI networking technology. As well as, of course, on how you will maximize your processor with the AI overclocking and AI cooling. Alright, so that's it guys. For more videos on how you will choose the right or next component that you may avail, feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys and have a nice day ahead.